While God created the world, the morning stars sang together. After God delivered Israel through the Red Sea, Moses and Miriam led the people in singing. God destroyed Israel's enemies under King Jehoshaphat while the choir sang. When Jesus was born, the angels sang, and before going to the cross, he sang. God rejoices over us with singing, and one of the only things we know for certain that everyone will be doing in heaven is singing. At New St. Andrews College, we understand that music is not an elective. It is central to our being and identity. We endeavor to train all our students in a joyful and robust musical literacy that will help them shape culture in a Christ-like direction wherever they go. Additionally, we offer the Certificate of Music in conjunction with our bachelor's degree in liberal arts and culture for students who desire extra music training beyond the regular music courses they will take as a part of the core curriculum. In the certificate program, you won't simply appreciate music or listen to it or talk about it. You will do music. You will study it, analyze it, read it, write it, sing it, and play it. You will receive private instruction in your primary instrument as well as secondary lessons in voice, piano, conducting, and other instruments. You will receive a solid foundation in music theory and analysis. You will study music history, church music, and music pedagogy. And when you graduate, you will leave with the ability to sing, play, understand, and steward music in whatever church or community you plant yourself. I'm Dr. David Erb, and this is the Certificate of Music at New St. Andrews College. Hey y'all, welcome to Cross Baltic on the Fight Laugh Feast Network. Don't forget to download our app, that's the best place to get us. But, actually Twitter is becoming interesting. Oh my goodness. You know, X, or Twitter, I call no, Twitter, me and Toby, start, me hey, and Toby, hey, Twitter, X, Twitter. We're trying to get our views up, X. I don't want them to penalize us because we are dead naming it. <laughs> <laughs> Not so long That's ago, funny. the American dream was alive and well. Employees who worked hard were rewarded, and employers looked for people who could do the job. Not for people who had the right political views. Redballoon.work is a job site designed to get us back to what made American businesses successful. Free speech, hard work, and having fun. If you're a free speech employer who wants to hire employees who focus on their work and not identity politics, then post a job on Redballoon.work. If you're an employee who's being censored at work or is being forced to comply with the current zeitgeist, post your resume on redballoon.work and look for a new job today. Redballoon.work, the job site where free speech is still alive. Redballoon.work. You know, what's, what's the, uh, uh, they just want good employees to do good work. What's the Kepler ad where it says, we just have people or something? <laughs> Call us, we have real people. Yeah, real people. <laughs> Talk to a real person. It's so yeah. basic. <laughs> just, the bar is low, people. <laughs> Speaking about employees, I think we have to give some high praise to our producer. Uh, we usually have two or three they're all like traveling and their flights got they, delayed. They think and, it's still Christmas and, and, or yeah. something. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, like 12 days of Christmas is fine, but this and, is like day yeah. 15 now. I mean, come on. <laughs> on the 50th day of Christmas, <laughs> you got fired. <laughs> get, on, get on Red Balloon. <laughs> <laughs> There's another commercial for you. Yeah. Um, I just want to say, though, and if you're looking for an employee, one of the things you want to look for is a barista because when they make good coffee for you and for they can actually cut the cameras and produce and your show, produce. you know you're winning. So yeah. that's, that's right. always That's right. Ad, that's like, right. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to Bree. Yeah. There we go. Cheers right. to Bree. Great to job, Bree. You're holding it down. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So we've been talking here and there this last, uh, oh, I'll so say, good. number of months, or maybe even this last year, but like, and I think there's massive tectonic shifts happening in wait, media. Wait, wait, wait. We've been talking right? about that since Elon took X. Well, really, really since I mean, COVID, we talked about it because cancel I'm culture happened you on up. YouTube okay. and all that stuff. We've been talking about it since, since 2016. So it was a long time. Facts. That, there I we go. Know. There we go. All the way back to the beginning. No, that's what, well, in some sense, that's why we started Cross Politics is because we wanted yeah. to apply the Lordship of Christ into politics specifically, and no one was doing it, and Fox wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole. You know, but, when, but when we started in 2016, we weren't concerned at all about platforms and environments. Mm -hmm. We just knew that we could grab some microphones, yep. yeah. some recording equipment. And, and, call, and call Ben Shapiro. And, and, yeah, and that's right. you know what? Hey, that's going to come back around later. I'm so glad you brought that up. Yeah. You are so right. We knew that we can call anybody, Ben Shapiro, yeah. you know, Matt Walsh. We can get a hold of anybody yeah. that right now is kind of massive. Right. But we just grabbed the microphones. And started, we yeah. weren't worried about the platform and the environment at that right. time. There was no – cancel culture hadn't hit it until really after COVID, yeah. right? Yeah. Like At least with us. Well, well no, co cancel culture started when COVID hit. 
and we started trying to figure out the vaccine. We started trying well, to figure out the masking. Can- cancel culture started, started, cancel culture that, but started with Jesus. Us. Started with Jesus. Yes. <laughs> well, you just I see how this is going. Like, he's like, I'm going to pull up my ace. It my started ace card. in the Garden of Eden. Okay, so Gabe starts. <laughs> I go in the middle. Pastor Toby finishes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I think. But You're trying I think, to say something. Currently, this last year, I think a lot of things are picking up steam in this in yeah. this Oof. kind of this tectonic shift that we're seeing. And not all the dots are coming together. I think so yeah. some it's there's starting a, to become clear and clear. There's a, there's a great sort. Yeah, uh, people have uh-huh. been calling yeah, this the, good, the yeah. great sort. Like you know, COVID is sort of God shook a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yes. that's right. And yes. and and everything's kind of you know all the right. the pieces um, are, are getting uh, shook around and right. s- sorted out. And so the, you see the this, magnets are starting to find each other. Exactly. Yeah. So you're, so you're seeing this you know sort of like red state, blue state. You're seeing this with like yeah. you know U-Haul rentals. Uh, like uh-huh. where, what's the number one destination and yeah. how much red does it balloon. cost? And you're seeing this with yeah. Red Balloon and, yeah. and employers and employees trying to find each homeschooling, other. Homeschooling. Homeschooling, Christian yeah. schooling. Yeah. All and, this. And now media. I mean, yeah. like, we grew significantly during COVID. Right. Um, because, they, you know, people were looking for, like, an honest, you know, biblical assessment of right. how to handle pandemics and church closures and uh, all that. And there wasn't a lot of everybody shut down. Yeah. You got to remember, there were no TV shows going. <laughs> people weren't doing their thing. Yeah. People weren't going to work. Right. They weren't, and so, and right. then they. It took them weeks to get everything online in people's homes. And Chris and Como and Jim Rome and, and all these guys went home and did their, their shows, shows were horrible out of their room, yeah, out of their house, their out of their, yeah. you know, kitchen. <laughs> right, right. right. And, but one thing that proved is that there's a business model there. Right. So, um, <laughs> and that's hey, for Lion. real. That's for real. Uh, so Twitter just announced today that uh, Tulsi Gabbard, Don Lemon, and Jim Rome are coming to Twitter. Yeah, not and just that, like. Yeah, go ahead. And and that they form some sort of partnership. We don't know any yeah. details about the partnership, but they didn't form a, Twitter didn't form a partnership with Elon Musk. But uh, he did. Form, uh, oh, you mean with Tucker? Uh, with Tucker, excuse me, with yeah. Tucker. Yeah. But they did form some sort of partnership because they announced it right. as a partnership. We don't know any details of what that means. But with Don Lemon, Tulsi Gabbard, and Jim Rome. The only now, thing we know for sure yeah. is that their shows will first appear on X. So X has some sort of supremacy that when the right. show drops, it will yeah. be on X before First, it's anywhere else. Before it goes anywhere else. So that we is don't know the financial a, a, some, some kind of exclusivity yeah. Um, yeah. deal. Yeah. That is. And so is, Jim Rome is sports. If anybody knows who yeah, Jim yeah. Rome is, sport. If anybody in the sports world, Jim Rome's okay. okay. He's. Was I it enjoyed HBO listening to too? Him. Did he have a show on HBO? I think at one time. Yeah. Jim know. Rome did. Yeah. yeah. And of course, Tulsi Gabbard was the famous Democrat that now turned. Republican or she? Is she, she just, was the yeah. She was the. She's prize. An independent or is she Republican? I think she's independent still. Yeah, uh, I don't think she's moved over. She doesn't she, really need to go anywhere. But yeah, but, she yeah. was supposed to be like the next person up in the Democratic Party. They all praised Tulsi. Not not oh. until the debates happened. And she started taking happened. out. She took out Kami. Well, remember? it was before that. No, it was before that. So she had a career that was. I mean, yeah. she was a uh, the, the military vice president, no, vice president of the Democratic chair, right? So she oh, was. Really? Oh yeah, she okay. was in there. Yeah, she was yeah. in there. Everybody knew that she was coming. Yep. And something happened where they put her in the back. And then when she got on to, to run for president, yeah. she just started saying, "I'm just going to air it out." I think that was Tulsi's way of saying, "Guys, I'm available." Right. I think she used the debates to say, "Y'all want me? I can, y'all can get me." Right. <laughs> for, for the Republicans, yeah, hey, Republican yeah, Party, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So. And then, then Don Lemon, who was basically oh. fired from CNN. Um, now it's it's a little ambiguous why he was fired from CNN. He was hard a, to work with. That's a number a number of shows he did. He, he had some disparaging okay. comments about women in soccer. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Nikki Haley. Reason. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he went after Vivek uh, Ramaswamy, and that be, that actually for some reason caused some internal trauma there. You got to remember, Fox and CNN have always been having it out. Don Lemon was the 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 tip of the spear for CNN in a lot of ways. He became that guy. Yeah. And so he didn't move. He stayed right where he was. He was going to the left. He was hitting for them, fighting against Fox, uh-huh. challenging them, challenging their worldview. Fox started taking off even a little more. Don Lemon kept hitting, but CNN hired somebody new to come in and rebrand everything for CNN. Don Lemon didn't move. CNN moved, and yeah. then he didn't fit. Where did they move? They moved to. They wanted to go more center, less confrontational, trying to grab that middle of the road. So you got thirty conservative. That, that, that's true. With the remember the whole the former CEO got kicked out for yes. women problems. Yes, and the new CEO, I think he's the old new CEO, came back and said, yes. "We're we're going. We're going to rebrand. We're, we're yeah. rebranding yeah. center." I remember that. Knox. And, and, yeah. and, and, and Lemon was uh, was uh, more hard left, and he was he's where they were. Yeah. 
He was who they wanted yeah. him to be, and he didn't change. And they tried to put him on a show with two other women, and his bl- yeah, gay okay. blackness wasn't enough in yeah. his uh, what is it, intersectionality. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. And so he kind of got canceled. Yeah. So it wasn't with them. It was more of a personal issue than it was even yeah. like, like business. He's Ideologically like, exactly. or, or worldview. So what is this saying, though? About, I mean, what's Elon's play here? Oh. I mean, so sports. Oh, yeah. um, speaking of which, how, uh, you know, any uh, – any thoughts on the college football? Oh, it was a great game. I mean, Michigan was the yeah. the better team they significantly. Dom- dominated. Yeah, they 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 were strong. Yeah, and they uh, the problem is they had a a great defensive line stop their run, and they had yeah. their offensive line just killed their yeah. defensive line. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah, it was just it was hard. Michigan it's, was a better team. It was it was hard to watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the poor quarterback no, man. No, no from Washington was no, no. was dead. He's Oh, he's walking no. out like a rib oh, broke oh, in. No. He was <laughs> walking wounded at yeah. the end there. He's <laughs> like, you can make it to the end, man. Make it to the end. He only got sacked once, but he got pushed so many times. Yeah. 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 Are you done? <laughs> All right. Back to, back to X. Back, sorry, to, back sorry. to Twitter. It's, we're talking yeah, about it. You want to do a sports show? I do. I do, I do actually. Because, I, mean, yeah. I mean, we can <laughs> compete with Jim Rohn. And X, 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 X is hiring. So, so Tulsi's <laughs> going after the center. And and Don is going after the left. I don't think. Is that what this is? Is Is it like bait like that? I don't think that Elon's even thinking about it so much in that way. I think okay. Elon really says, I want to be a free speech. So let's play Tulsi talking about why she okay. joined X. Free speech is something that a lot of us have taken for granted throughout our lives. It is fundamental to our rights that we have as Americans. Unfortunately, we live in a time where free speech is under attack. Lifting up your voice in dissent or challenge or questioning or even having a dialogue and debate is not only discouraged, it can be cause for retaliation or cancellation or censorship. We must defend our right to free speech by using it. I'm excited to announce today a partnership with X, a platform that under the leadership of Elon Musk not only uh, defends free speech, it is celebrated and encouraged. So I'm looking forward to launching some new projects with them where I'll tell the stories and tell the truth about what's happening here in our country and around the world, a truth that most often those in power don't want us to hear. I'll also be sharing a series of short films that lift up the voices of those who are most negatively impacted by the decisions of those in power, but whose voices aren't being heard. Talk about the unborn. You never notice when they talk about those in power, it's always faceless people. Yeah, yeah. Right? This is this is so important. Everybody uses that same language. The left, the right, those in power. Yeah. It's like, yes, and we all believe the man. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's the man. Yeah. It's like, who is this? Yeah. Who's the man? Yeah. I don't know, but he's out there. You know, it's like, okay. So, and so, so Tulsi, free speech. So, so free speech. No, so let's look at what Don Lemon said on his, Pastor, yeah. would you read what Don Lemon said on his Twitter? All right. Well, I, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, they're bringing it up. Don Lemon says, I've heard you, and today I am back bigger, bolder, freer, exclamation point. (laughs) My new media company's first project is the Don Lemon Show. It will be available to everyone easily, whenever and wherever you want it, streaming on the platforms where the conversations are happening, and you'll find it first Mm. on X, the biggest space for free speech in the world. Man. Wow. Wow. I know now more than ever that we need a place for honest debate and discussion <laughs> without the hall monitors. This is just the beginning, so stay tuned. What are you laughing about? I know now more than ever. Yeah. Oh, he was with CNN hey. for 17 years, and uh, he didn't say a darn thing. It took about you wearing CNN. three it shoes t- for you figured it out, huh? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, oh, I figured it out now. And, and here's the yeah. thing, though, with with Don, I honestly believe if he was still at CNN right now, he'd be tacking Elon Musk right now. Of course he oh, would. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. He, he wouldn't be wearing his third shoe but, yet. But because but he, he got fired from CNN. That's right. Sure. And where do you go? Where's so, the biggest platform? Where's Elon Musk getting, what, five times the amount of views he got on Fox? Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean right? at Tucker? Yeah, you uh, Tucker, right? I, 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 I like do, how you I, I those keep doing two that. together. Yeah, yeah. Where, <laughs> so you know, Tucker, Tucker's getting five times the views that, and then he was getting on Fox. Don Lemon is going going to Twitter because uh, it, uh, X. Yes. Twitter. Because, I mean, it's going to get him the most views. And, and and Elon, this is to your point earlier, Elon's making an interesting play here. Yes. Yeah, so Why? I, so here's what I think 
Elon really is concerned about free speech. Yeah. And I, and I, I really believe that he's convinced everybody who at least are, are decent journalists who've had to follow along with what people have naturally given them. Don is a guy who has taken what the top has given him and instituted it. And he's done his job. And he was, uh, he was rebuked for it. He was taken down a notch because he did what they told him to yeah, do. Right. And he wasn't good enough. Right. So when do I get to say the things I want to say now? Yeah, the things I think. When's the conversations I, I get to think and put out there and have that with dialogue? And then he saw Tucker, who got fired yeah. the same time he did. Right. And Tucker's already out there. Yeah. Tucker kind of paved the way right. for, I think, Elon being able to make these offers to Don yeah. Lemon. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. He it's, proved the model. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Proved right. the model. Yeah. He proved yeah. the model. He proved that it worked. And nobody thought it was going to work. And yeah. it worked better than when he was at Fox. So then... Okay, so I was talking to Gabe with this. Okay, now this isn't a slight. I'm just going to say this, though. But when you look at platforms, what's the, what's the problem ultimately with Gab? The problem with Gab is that it doesn't have any real balanced conversation. It's, you, it's more of an echo chamber. You have one yeah. conversation that you can have on there, and that's problematic. And if you want that conversation, then great. It's all over there. But there's a very small group of people that are going to have that conversation. It's a hard right conservative echo chamber. Exactly. So what's the problem with Rumble? Eh, I can't aggregate. I can't. It's, there's no. Well, it's also it's, kind of similar. It's just kind of and, and it's the right. That you was, know, the far but that's right. not its first problem. You know. That's its second yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, but it does true. have that. It's bigger. It's it's a little bigger than Gab. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah far yeah, bigger. Yeah. Uh, but so, but, but the problem that X was about to have is that it was going to be like Gab or like Rumble. Because the left was leaving. Be- that's exactly right. When they, Elon bought it, they had an exodus and they all left and went to Thread so they can talk about X. <laughs> and, and, and Elon's like, if I do that, I don't get a large audience. Yeah. I want a large audience. Well, if, if the left has taken their audience and gone over here. Well, then, and Elon lost some advertisers, Disney and so uh, forth. It, that's all of them. I agree. Yeah. That's yeah. all of those same, people. Same, same part of Because they took the conversation over here. Right. And he's like, wait a second. And all the people who follow those guys all left too, right? So then if you bring somebody like Don Lemon, who is a representative and was a lead for millions of them that watched every night on CNN. Yeah. Who felt like Don? Wait, we want we want to fight against Fox. <laughs> we yeah. want to have a different narrative, yeah. right? You got to remember Don Lemon, regardless of how many people watch, he was he was played every day in oh, airports yeah. and yeah, everywhere. Yeah. So. Well, well, we've we've played we played numerous clips. clips of him yes. on here saying dumb things. And so yeah. <laughs> what Elon is doing is saying, okay, I, I know that this a lot of the right's not going to like it, and a lot of conservatives aren't going to like it. But if I bring Don in, all of a sudden. I'm having all of the fight here right. and not over there, not yeah. over there, not over there. All the fight comes to my platform, and these people get to engage with thoughts with yeah. each other on one platform. Yep. The more that I have people and eyeballs and yeah. I have that real estate, guess what I get to sell? You, you know, the highest usage of Twitter ever happened um, the week after Christmas. Really? Yeah. This this year? Like, just like yep. within just a few year. weeks? Like, the mm. highest usage ever in terms of, like, everyone just... You know, on it. gobbling up gigabytes yeah. of yeah. you know information. They're on vacation and they're yep. surfing and That's they're right. on their phones or whatever. And so, in the meantime, as the leftists are, I think the leftists were more like doing the Canada thing when Trump got arrested. When Trump got became president, they're like, yeah. "I'm moving to Canada." They never did. Yeah. Um, I think the same thing was happening on Twitter. Right. They're like, "Oh, we're out of here. We're going to Threads," and and a lot of them never really did. Right. Uh, and because usage just keeps cranking up, yet. cranking up, cranking up, and then all of a sudden. You know, you got the highest usage ever, and then and then Elon just announces this. And he's not done. He's going to do more of this. It so. strikes me that Elon, in many ways, is far more Christian than most Christians. Oof. Um, you, you're going to have to explain that one to me. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I'm just, I, I got thoughts said. on that. But, but yeah. like, uh, like, particularly just on this free speech thing. Like, yeah. I, and I think people— um, mm. Free speech is a Christian virtue. It's a Christian virtue. And it's Elon's maxim virtue. Yeah, and, and I'm not saying he's a Christian personally. Yeah. Right, right. But I'm saying on this— point on freedom of speech um and i you know i mean there's uh, i i would love twitter to be far more locked down in terms of pornography and all that kind of stuff um but uh but i do think in terms of these opposing viewpoints and worldviews i mean there are a lot so there are a lot of people on the left um you know you say i believe uh you know a a fertilized egg as a human being should be protected and they light their hair on fire and start shrieking right you know, women's, no debate. Women's rights, women's rights, women's Shut rights, up. and they just want to scream in your face. Yeah. But there's a lot of conservative Christians that do the same thing. Yeah. When, when to the, us. When, when, well, yeah, to <laughs> us too. Message. Yeah. I mean, but, but, there's but, a reason why we aren't going back to G3. But there's, you know, the, but, but, <laughs> yeah, you had to go there, didn't you, Gabe? Um, but. Um, 
Ooh, we, gauges. We, we love you, Josh. We love you, Virgil. We do. Uh, um, but do. Uh, but the um, Scott, we hate you. <laughs> no. No. Scott, it's just Josh <laughs> and Virgil. He's the least Scott, Scott, I like him, man. Scott. Hey. Scott's my favorite song <laughs> singing Reformed Baptist. Like no, no, he's awesome. He's awesome. Um, no, uh, but I, I was thinking more like you know, again, like the the Don Lemon. Like, like, like yeah. Don Lemon, you know, we, we laugh at him. We make fun of his stupid stuff, yeah. as, as we should. Um, but we would also have him on the show. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. At any moment. We, like, um, and and I, we, we would be willing to have those conversations. We need to be willing to have those conversations. We need to have spaces where we carve out room to That's have right. those conversations. Mm-hmm. And, and, like, you know, if you're going to do outreach on a university campus, you have to recognize that what you're dealing with is 10,000 students that have been discipled by Don Lemon. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like and, and and Tulsi Gabbard at best, yeah, like right. at best, right. Um, and so that's good. How, how are you? How are you going to reach them if you can't talk to them? Right. How, how are you going to? And and you know how many Christian Facebook threads turn into these just putrid, vile, angry, <laughs> yeah, meltdowns like mm-hmm. you're toddlers in a you know in a toy mm-hmm. section. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know we can't talk. We can't debate baptism. We can't t- debate Calvinism. We can't. You know, much less, I mean, uh, try to win uh, over someone who believes in murdering babies right. to um, to honor Christ and honor life. Mm. Um, so anyway, I mean, I just think Christians need to be at the, we need to be, I mean, in this, in this respect, I think Elon Musk ought to be praised, thanked, and emulated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we, you're we, right. I think you're right. Free speech is a Christian virtue. Right. Well, and there's a couple reasons for I think what you just said really needs to be absorbed and, and, and embraced is because what he's doing, I, I think there's two really big takeaways from this. Uh, one of them is that I think that he's fighting against globalism. I'll explain that one in a minute. Okay. Um, the other one is that this process of what he's doing is making the playing field level in a way that it's never been before. What we're seeing happening in the video world is that, or should I say, in the media world, the production world, film news is going through the same thing that we talked about this, that the music industry went through. Right. Where it leveled the playing field. It's no more big, large or organizations yeah, from, from, and corporations. From the, from the record labels. From the yeah. record labels down to the artists. The artists yeah, started yeah. becoming their own. Like Don Lemon's got his own studio now. Right, Tucker's yeah. got his own studio now. Yeah. These are big bands who only used to work with record labels, the record labels let them go, yeah. and now you have the artists who've made their own studios yeah, and right. they're now producing their stuff, and they just need a distributor. Right, yeah. Who's a distributor? X, X right. right? And and now, when you have artists that are doing that, guess what? These artists are more accessible than they've ever been yeah. before. Yeah. Right. When they were at the large studios, they didn't have the time, right. the energy, or nor did they need to be as accessible to their to their base. They're, they'd play in venues that would hold 2 million people. Right. And now they go to X and it holds, you know, 10 million, with, 20 with million. With far more you know. access to them than <laughs> yeah. they've ever but had. Yeah, but there's more access. There's yeah. too, like, far I mean, more yeah. access. Yeah. And so what that means is that you actually get a chance to engage with them. I'm watching these guys engage with folks that have no views on their ex, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like yeah. A two, 3,000 or whatever people who follow them, yeah. and they're having great dialogues back and forth. Right. And so you don't have to be them in order to talk to them. You don't have to be them in order to yeah. engage with them. You don't have to be them you know, for them to come on your shows and you can be just as important in one sense, have just as much as an impact as they have. You got to, they're coming to the platform that a lot of us have been managing and running and been on and been working. A lot of them don't know how to do this apart from having 40 or 50 people yeah. producing them. Yeah. Right. Like they don't know how to, they right. don't know how to run a show and produce it. With just one producer. So the competition yeah. is finally being level where you don't have a huge look. When the music industry changed over and the individual artists started to manage their stuff, the people with the expertise were only bought by the large music studios. Everybody had to learn how to mix their music. Everybody and everybody's music sounded the same. They're using all the same equipment. They're using all the same mics. They're using all because everybody's got the same budget all of a sudden. Right. And they don't have five million dollar studios to record their music in. What do they have? They got a room that's 12 by 12. Yeah. Yeah. They got the five hundred dollar microphone, Two the TVs little mixers up in the back, and yeah. and now what they have to do is figure out how to mix all this. And so when you hear the music, what's the thing that stands out? The content, the truth, the truth, right? What, the heart, the emotion, the reality of of, right. of the person talking to you. And so you connect with that person on a much richer and deeper level right. than all the poly- now. It, here's what happens: this is only for a short window. At this point, this is why this is very important. This point where everybody's equal and level is only for a short window until the environment becomes saturated. Yeah. When it becomes saturated, 
you redevelop the big. There's going to be a new hierarchy. <laughs> So this is a great time for everybody who wants to be in this space to jump in this space and get hot mm -hmm. because now people right. are choosing to listen to you or Tucker. Right. Right. And, and they actually a real choice. And guess what? You're right underneath their fold. Right. You weren't on Fox. Right. Right. You weren't on the cable networks. They couldn't change but, your but channel. But now you're there. on the same yeah. platform as Tucker. Right. Yeah. But now right. you're on the exact same platform right. as Lemon, Tucker, Tulsi, all of, you know, Rome. You're there. You're in their yeah. switcher. And so we have a great opportunity. Okay, right. second part. I'm talking a lot. Uh, the other thing is that I think that Elon is giving people a taste for individual relationships where you can actually have accomplished um, uh, goals that you wouldn't get inside of globalism. Okay. Globaliz Explain. Globalism makes you down here and them up here, and there's no— Sort of another version of the big platforms, right. the, the media— uh, conglomerates, the the record labels. Yes, exactly. Globalism and is kind of another version. Another version of, that. of record label. Okay. And and so I think you I think you need to look at and this is why they are talking like this too. Notice what all of them said. Tuck uh, Tucker's been saying it. Um, Tulsi said it. Uh, Don Lemon said it. And then X is saying it. This is a world conversation. World conversation. They're having the fight with globalism. Globalism says we get to make the decisions for right. you. When we're having the conversation, this flipping, this it's upside flipping down. it upside down. And people are in, going to be involved now in X where there's this culture of relational, yeah. covenantal relationships back and forth, talking with each other. Well, I don't agree with this. I don't like that. And they're going to have a consensus from that. But globalism is like, here's, here, here's your stuff. This is what you get to do. Yeah. Right. And people can go, whoa, whoa, right. whoa, whoa, whoa. Take, I, take the jab. Take, do, exactly. put, put the mask on your face. Exactly. Here, here's what, how much you can grow. You, right. you guys watching the, 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 um, the, the farmer protests yes. in, yeah. in the EU right yeah. now. Yeah. All, all those tractors dumping manure all over yeah. the place. I mean, but that's but that's what globalism does. That's globalism right. from way up on high looks down and says, uh, "Here's how much crops you can grow." Yeah. Notice what community notes are. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> what are community it's, notes? It's the people. It's the people. P people saying, no, I think we'll grow this much. Yeah, exactly. I don't think I'll take the jab. And so there's a free market environment that's yeah. relational. And that's, and that's supposed to be like, and so he's trying to cultivate that. And then he's going to put an economy behind it. Yeah. And when, when he does that, yeah. the way that we're going to start working and doing business and, and engage, if he puts, if they're able to prolong the, however the government is able to get their hands into Bitcoin and all the digital currency, yeah. they can prolong that. And he's able to get that inside of his system as well and people can do person-to-person -person transactions without everybody knowing what's going on uh yeah. then yeah. you 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 create a, a market an environment that rejects anything that's top down given to you right but that's and right. so that's it's one thing to preach about it it's a whole nother thing to build the infrastructure that allows freedom to ring the thing i just want to add one thing and this this dovetails with what you said the thing that matters with all of it leveling the thing then that matters is the content. Yes. The thing that matters is truth. Yes. And this is, again, where when you believe that there actually is such a thing as truth, number one, that's really significant. Yeah. Then, but then that means that that's the crucial thing. Mm. Communicate the truth. That's Tell right. the truth. Interrogate the truth. And this is what makes you fearless of people who have different op opinions. Right. Because if they're wrong right. and you're right, why are you threatened by that? Mm -hmm. you, you just keep telling the truth. You, yeah. the, the truth itself is its own defense. Right. But you, but then as you explore it, as you dig it out, and and so on, it it, it gets uncovered. It, it's mm. it's like unearthing gold. It's like unearthing yeah. diamonds. Mm -hmm. It just is, and and its value is is uh, is self evident, um, even if other people don't agree, uh, even if other people don't see it yet. Mm. Um, Message. So, I, but I just and I think for Christians in particular, it's easy to be threatened by people who disagree or say you're wrong. Um, and then I think this is why people, Christians in particular get defensive and sometimes start getting nasty mm -hmm. um, it, because you don't actually believe in the potency Ouch. of truth. Uh -huh. um, but, um, but truth really is, is the fundamental currency. Yeah. Yeah. It's the fundamental yeah. currency. It's the way God made the world. He made the world with his word, and his word is the word that became flesh, and his word is the word who is the truth. Yeah. And that's and that's fundamentally where authority comes from. Mm. Um, authority comes from knowing and telling the truth. Yeah. That's why Jesus has all authority. Yeah. Mm. Because he is the whole truth. We're gonna take y'all to church for the show's over. And with. and and this and this is also why repentance matters. Mm. Yeah. Because repentance is telling the truth about something you did wrong or said that's wrong. Right. That's right. And so repentance does not um sacrifice your authority. Repentance is the path to authority. Mm. 
Because you're saying, what I said there, what I did there, that was wrong. That wasn't right. That wasn't as good as it could have been or as, as mm -hmm. best as it should have been. Here's the truth. Here's what is right and doing what is right. That's repentance. Um, that's, and I think if, if we want to be blessed by God and we want repentance in our land, we've got we've to commit ourselves to telling the truth, living the truth, yep. repenting in the truth, because that's, that's where authority lies. Yeah, right? And so if we, if we want that blessing, if we want to be, ra you know, we want to be raised up, then we need the humility that just says, this is the truth. Yep. Mm. Amen. Um, I got to read this ad. Uh, actually, well, not that ad. Not that ad? This is what I want to talk about. Okay, I'm not going to That's that related ad. to that ad. Yeah, okay. You know, oh. uh, for the longest time, I mean, we have we have been fighting cancel culture. I was going to um, ask you to do this. You, you, YouTube I know do. has been uh, suppressing us for about two years, three years now, or right. really since COVID. We're since like COVID. on strike two and a half, yeah, two and three quarters. Whatever that is. Two and seven eighths. And then we're also, our video um, uh, spread on YouTube is just choked. Yeah. And so, uh, and then of course, we actually don't even post our show on Facebook anymore, do no. we? No. Do we? No. Mm -hmm. So we, we've had this, our, our downloads are always growing. Our podcast downloads are growing no. significantly. That's so amazing. Uh, we have, a, I think, a significant Jibology. opportunity with what's going on with Twitter and X to really uh, grow our video side of what we've been doing and everything. We're on DirecTV and Xfinity, but those are kind of locked in cable. NRB. You know, NRB. They're, they're the kind of locked in Tr cable. Traditional networks. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, this is why, man, I, we can't encourage you guys enough. I, I would love for you guys to join our club, support what we're doing. Uh, uh, I think like these tectonic shifts in the next five to ten years are going to be massive. And with y'all's help, I think we can have a huge impact on the direction of this is all going. Yeah. So you, you guys don't even know half the conversations we're having with people so, so about all this. When right. Gabe says with y'all's help, what he's saying is go to the app, download the app, Become, join the club on the website. Yes. You'll automatically get your password for the app. If you join the club on the app, Apple gets a cut, Google gets a cut. Some people just want ease of use, though. Yeah. So but, just, but if you go to fightlaughfeast.com, you can yes. join the club there. Join the club. Yeah. Uh, join what we're calling the pub. Yeah. Pub, pub TV. Yeah. Uh, and that unlocks all the um, club. Access Content, to yeah. uh, to backstage. Did you guys have a good conversation with with uh, Jason? Oh. Jason, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we we left everybody hanging at the end of the show, and you talked yeah. for like a little while longer. Yeah, we did. 10, Absolutely. 10, 12 minutes. So you guys can get yeah. access to that. All yeah. our conference talks, a bunch of backstage content, yeah. um, and and of course, it's just you know we appreciate your support yeah. uh, for us to be able to grow and build. Uh, what we believe is because we want fifty producers. Mm. Silver, <laughs> hallelujah, gold, hallelujah, fifty breeze, hallelujah. <laughs> mm. Ah, yes. If you're single, get married. If you're married, have you some kids. And if you have kids, go baptize them. Until tomorrow, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. This organ does something to me. Love your neighbor as yourself. Go fight, laugh, yes. and feast. Hallelujah. Um, glory. <laughs> See? He's an organ. Hi, I'm Robert Borton, CEO of Classical Conversations, the world's largest classical Christian homeschooling community. I'm launching a new podcast, Refining Rhetoric. If you like cross politics or just listen to hear what crazy stuff they're saying today, you will enjoy refining rhetoric. You can find us on your favorite podcast platform. I practice the 15 tools of learning by interviewing great guests, looking at current events, and talking about cryptocurrency.